Uh huh. Good evening, guys. Thank you so much for joining today. I was finishing with the other with the other um, class, so thank you so much, you know, for being here. And just let me open up here my presentation. Solo déjeme abrir la presentación, and I will go ahead and share it with you. Bear with me. So, how are you today, guys? How are you? Remember that tomorrow we have class, okay? Mañana hay clase. Oye, no se me vaya a ir. Eh, no se le voy a olvidar. Eh, la costumbre de lunes a jueves. But remember that tomorrow we have class, okay? But how was your day, guys? How how was your day today? What do you do? ¿Cómo les ha ido? Tell me. In English, of course, right? In English, please. I had a bad day. <gasps> I work a lot. I work a lot and oh. I'm very tired. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Damaris. Actually, yes, I have had a, uh, you know, very, very um, busy days lately, you know, and I can definitely, you know, understand you. Definitivamente la comprendo. And, you know, uh, sometimes it's like that. Y incluso a veces uno siente ahí de donde uno saca fuerza, ¿verdad? Para terminar todo lo que tiene que hacer. But I really, you know, congratulate you for making the time for your class and for not giving up, por no rendirse. Así que, let's keep up, guys, and thank you so much for being here. Y así como dice ella, pues sometimes it's, you know, a busy day, a lot of things going on. But let's be glad and thankful that we are here, okay? So I'm going to begin here with the attendance, okay? And then we're going to move to the, um, you know, the topic where we stopped yesterday, which is about related to job skills, but that skills that, that you might have, right, etc. So Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Ada Agar. Eh, Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Brenda. Present teacher. Gracias. Claudia Lisette Velázquez de Salgado. Present Gracias. teacher. Thank you. Eh, Damaris Saraí García Cerón. Present. Gracias, Damaris. Eh, Daniel Alejandro Llanes Díaz. Eliu Fernando Flores Díaz. Gracias, Eliu. Elsie Cristina Coreas de Ramírez. Present. Gracias. Flor Noemí Dimas de Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. Gabriel José Hernández López. Gisela Emperatriz Cañas Bonilla. Gisela. Present. Okay, thank you. Yusef. Present. Mm -hmm. Sí. Hector Iván Pérez Martínez. Present teacher. Gracias. Eh, Iván Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Present teacher. Gracias. Julio César Campos Yara. Present teacher. Gracias. Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Carla Alicia. Barrera Mena. Eh, Carla Elena López Rivas. Present teacher. Gracias. Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. Present teacher. Gracias. María Dolores García de López. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca María Rosales Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Paola López Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Xiomara Violeta Salazar Iraeta. Present teacher. And thank you. Josarina Elizabeth González Cartagena. Okay. Very good. Thank you, guys. Ah, que veamos acá. Tenemos dos messages. Teacher, Jos, dice. Bye. I'm here. <laughs> dice Daniel Alejandro. Welcome, Daniel. Ahorita le pongo la, la asistencia. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome. Okay, guys. So yesterday we stopped here. 
Okay, we were talking about skills and job preferences. And I asked you if you had been asked, you know, these questions and you said yes, ¿verdad? Algunos dicen sí, teacher, me las preguntaron o las preguntan donde yo laboro, ¿verdad? And here we have, you know, like eh, examples, okay? And also yesterday, okay, I think if I am not mistaken, uh -huh, we were using here eh, information related to jobs and professions, right? We have flight attendants, teachers, some writer, lawyer, bookkeeper, doctor, marine biologist, model, and architect, right? So those are some examples. So listening, you know, I don't have it right here available, but uh, those are examples of, you know, uh, jobs or professions, right? What else can you add here, guys? What are like the most common jobs that we have in El Salvador? Be besides the one that you can see there, what other jobs can you think of? Professions, guys. Good evening, teacher. Oh, okay, Francisco Antonio, thank you for letting me know. Gracias este, por avisarme, Francisco Antonio. Ya le puse la asistencia, quiero ver. Sí, sí, ya se lo puse. Thank you, Francisco Antonio. So, guys, what other professions can you mention? ¿Qué, ¿Cuáles otras creen ustedes que podemos agregar acá? Que son comunes en El Salvador, por supuesto. Professions. Accountant. Accountant, yeah, very good. Accountant. What else? Nurse. A nurse, muy bien. Yes, definitely. We have a lot of nurses in El Salvador. Secretary. Secretary. Okay, what else? Customer service. Customer service representative. Yes, exactly. Customer service representative is it's a very common one, ¿verdad? Es más, espérenme, lo voy a ir. Espérenme, el verbo operar. Espérenme, lo voy a apuntar. Ok, tenemos acá, este, me dijeron nerds, ¿verdad? ¿Qué otro? Me dijeron accountant, account, ups, accountant. Me dijeron eh, customer, customer service representative, representative, representative. Ok, ¿qué más, chicos? What else? Lawyer? A lawyer, yes. Okay, we have lawyers, right? Oh, perdón. Lawyer. Mm -hmm. Very good. What else? Managers. Managers, yes, definitely. Managers, uh huh. ¿Qué más podemos agregar, chicos, a la lista? Common jobs in El Salvador. A doctor? Yes, we have doctors, right? Doctors. We have specialists, too, right? Your, uh, business, business administration. A business administrator, okay. Business admi administrator. What do you say? Dri you say driver. Manager, ¿verdad? Business manager. Ah? Driver. A driver, yes. Uh -huh. Aquí tenemos como boss or... Uh, truck driver, ¿verdad? The dentist. Dentist, okay, very the good. Dentist. Yes, dentist. Uh -huh. What else? Engineer. Yes, right. Actually, there are a lot of engineers, right? So, and, and also um, in other countries, right? For example, in La India, right? hay bastantes ingenieros. Engineers, okay, engineers. What else? Only that? Pilot, 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 pilot. Uh -huh. dígame, pilot, uh -huh. dígame, Kitchener, cocinero, o usted diría ah, chef. Ah, que puede ser cook or chef, creo que si no estoy equivocado, un cook no tiene como un, como un, este, una especialización, pero un chef, sí, ajá, es, eso es lo que yo entiendo, verdad, no sé si estoy equivocada, pero, ahorita se la busco, cabal, eso iba a ser, what's the difference? Nurses, teacher. Hmm? Nurses. Yes, ahí está, ya la puse en la primera. Oh. Teacher oh. también. Ah, yes. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Teacher, sí, es cierto. Vaya, mire, dice acá, veamos. To simply answer this question as chef, ah, pues sí, no estaba tan equivocada, mire, a chef is an individual who is trained to understand flavors, cooking techniques, 
creates recipes from scratch with fresh ingredients and have a high level of responsibility with a kitchen within a kitchen a cook is an individual who follows established recipes to prepare food that's the difference verdad uno está especializado y el otro pues no verdad solo sigue eh, digamos eh, es digamos una receta estándar o pasos simples right to prepare food uh -huh. es un cocinero y un chef uh -huh. vamos a ponerlo acá siempre recuerden siempre 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 cuando necesiten así como y cuál que es que es la diferencia you can ask here in the, the browser right and you will get a response veamos entonces Yes, these are, you know, um, professions or I would say, ah, ya tenemos administrative assistant, no, verdad? Administrative, administrative assistant, right? Uh, Teacher, hmm? seller. Ah, sí, a salesperson, verdad? Salesperson, ajá. Uh -huh. Salesperson. Customer service. Sí, aquí está, customer okay. service representative. Mm -hmm. okay. Policeman. Policeman. Okay. Poli Oops. Policeman. Okay. Excellent. What is the difference? Customer service and salesperson. Oh, those are two different um, jobs, right? Because with customer service, you are not required to sell anything unless there's a rebuttal. Le llaman en inglés un rebuttal. Un rebuttal es como uh, o upsell. También le llaman upsell. Cuando un agente de servicio al cliente tiene que ofrecer algo. Pero no es necesario. Al mm. menos que se lo pidan. Okay. Pero un salesperson dedicates his or her profession to sell things. Mm -hmm. That is the, the difference. I don't know if I answered your question. No sé si respondí su pregunta. All right. Perfect. Anyone else? What is CEO? What is? Hmm? What is? Uh, uh, what is the significance of the CEO? The C -A -O. Ah, CEO. Uh -huh. I think it's Chief Executive Officer. Was he? CEO meaning. This uh, Chief. Uh -huh, Aha, es. Chief Executive Officer. This is a CEO, right? Thank you. You're welcome, CEO, Chief Executive Officer. Mm -hmm. Okay, alguien por ahí dijo algo más, perdón, que no alcancé a escuchar. Ay, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that, Hector. ¿Puede repetirlo, por favor? Mechanic. Ah, mechanic. Yes, it's true, a mechanic mechanic it's true we have you know this profession in el salvador with this job right in el salvador okay so as you can see our list the police hmm? police policeman yeah policeman mm -hmm. so these are very common jobs right that we have okay in el salvador i'm going to share with you the list over there in the in the chat okay and then we were talking, oh, dígame, Daniel, dígame. The other is architect. Mm, so true, right? We have architects. We have a lot of architects. We have also seamstress, right? Veamos acá. Architect, ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh. También tenemos este seamstress, creo que se escribe, que son costureras, ¿verdad? Seamstress, okay. Solo déjeme chequear el spelling. Sí, así se escribe. Seamstress es costurera. And yes, we have a lot of them, right? Muy bien. Now, then we were talking about these questions, right? Are you good at communicating with people? Are you good at remembering names? Are you good at solving problems? Are you good at making decisions quickly? Are you good at meeting deadlines, right? Do you have any special skills, right? Do you have any experience, right, in the job? 
Do you have any special certificates or diplomas, right? Do you speak any foreign languages? Do you like traveling? Do you like commuting? Do you like working evenings, right? So there are a lot of questions over here, guys. And if I ask, ¿cómo debería, ¿qué respuesta podríamos dar en la primera? Are you good at communicating with people? Si la pregunta es, are you good at, ¿cómo puedo contestar yo de forma eh, corta? How can I answer? I am not. Good at... Ok, right. you can say yes I am or no I am not. ¿Verdad? Porque la pregunta comienza con verbo to be. Yes I am or no I'm not. Muy bien. Ok. Eh, are you good at remembering names? ¿Verdad? Ahí como dijeron ustedes, yes I am or no I'm not. ¿Verdad? Etc. Ok, so these are questions that you might hear. Preguntas que usted puede escuchar, ¿verdad? De, 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 de personas de reclutamiento, the recruitment team, ¿verdad? Also, yesterday, we were eh, classifying these adjectives, these personality traits, right? Personality traits, right? We, were class we classified them into negative and positive, right? We have bad tempered. Give me a second. Next. We have bad tempered, creative, right? Um, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level headed, right? Moody, punctual, reliable, and straight. Right, so there you have, you know, lots of uh, personality traits, okay? So, guys, I want you to go to the chat and please type. Type the ones that you consider uh, describe you. ¿Cuáles son los que lo describen a ustedes, okay? Type the ones that describe you. What are the different, um, the different, uh, Characteristics that describe you. ¿Cuáles lo describen? Type them. Un par nada más, ¿verdad? Puntual, pero no sé cómo se pronuncia. Punctual. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And, uh, and strict. And strict. Okay, excellent. Now, you can say them. Podía decirlos o los podía digitar también. No hay ningún problema. Punctual, strict, and forgetful, dice Flor Noevi. Very good. Okay. Anyone else? Punctual, strict, and forgetful. Punctual and generous, you say, Ivan. Okay, punctual and generous. Creative and patient, this is Daniel Alejandro. Creative and patient, very good. Impatient or impatient? <laughs> patient. Patient. I, I okay. think I have a very patient with my co-worker. <laughs> really? Okay, excellent. Hector says creative and efficient. Okay, muy bien, creative and efficient. Very good. I don't know, guys, in my case. Hmm. Teacher, ¿Hmm? ¿cómo se diría negociador, pero no de venta, sino de, 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 de negociar con respecto a, a la gerencia de trabajo? Hmm, no, ahí sería el verbo. A person who likes to negotiate, you know, or to get to a, um, get to, a, como que se dice, agree to disagree, ¿verdad? O sea, que no es que se llegue de acuerdo, pero se puede negociar con esa persona. Pero no, I don't have an adjective in mind. I would, y si, si yo quisiera decir algo así, diría, a person who can negotiate, a person who, a person who can negotiate, you know, um, with, um, 
managers, right, etc. Ajá, como ya un nivel más, más este, ejecutivo o, o ya de gerencia. ¿no? So a person who negotiates or, or who can negotiate, right, different okay. proposals. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, guys, after this a dynamic hard worker, this is Jocelyn. In my case, I would say reliable guys and impatient because I am impatient. I have to admit that. Reliable and impatient. I try to be punctual too. I try to be generous as well, right? Sometimes I'm, I'm forgetful and but i'm I'm a hard working person, and sometimes i'm um you know um creative sometimes I am not right if I'm very uh, tired right hard working and reliable this is Gisela. okay punctual generous impatient this is Brenda I am reliable and generous this is Maria Dolores very good, excellent guys, thank you so much now. The reason why we are getting through this is because we're going to move to the last topic, el último tema, ¿verdad? In the last topic, we have the conversation, right? There is a conversation, and this conversation is related to something, you know, that we have already uh, included here, right? We're talking about looking for a job, like looking for a place to study, right? And, you know personality traits, and also thinking about decisions, right? So let's go ahead and take a look in here. It says, we have a conversation between Tim and Brenda, right? Tim and Brenda. So it says, I don't know what classes to take this semester. I can't decide what I want to do with my life. Have you thought about it, Brenda? Ay, pobrecito, it's in a, in a crisis, right? And Brenda says, yes, I have. I think I met a good journalist because I love writing. Hmm. Maybe I could be a teacher because I'm very creative and I like working with kids. Oh, I wouldn't want to be a teacher. I'm too impatient, <laughs> right? And then it says, I know one thing I could never do. What's that? I could never be a stockbroker because I'm not good at making decisions quickly, right? Un corredor de bolsa, stockbroker, uh, because I am not good at making decisions quickly. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and see, right? Do you have questions about the vocabulary words? Questions about the vocabulary words? <clears throat> No, no, the stock broker no. is corredor de bolsa, dice. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Ay, miren, no les puse aquí de los personality traits, but I'm going to play right now the conversation for you to listen directly from uh, the platform, okay? Just let me make sure that I'm sharing the sound and then we're going to move to the next topic. Clauses with because. Oh, sorry. The word because introduces... Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because is a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist. Or, I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor, or an actress. Please share your responses on our discussion box. 
Okay, so this is the video <clears throat> related to the topic. Let's go here, okay? This is the information presented on your manual, right? Because it introduces a cause or reason, right? So these are clauses. Now, I have shared with you before, but I con, con, si ustedes se recuerdan, yo les expliqué que era una cláusula. Does anybody remember what a clause is? What is a clause? What is a clause? Is una condicionante? Oh, no. In this case, una cláusula, chicos, es un conjunto de palabras que incluye un, un, un sujeto y un verbo. Esa es una cláusula, ¿ok? Y tenemos las frases. Una frase es un conjunto de palabras que carecen ya sea de un sujeto o de un verbo, ¿ok? Pero una cláusula es eso. Una cláusula es un grupo de palabras que incluye un, un sujeto y un verbo. ¿verdad? Entonces aquí tenemos cláusulas, quiere decir que tenemos oraciones que son independientes una de la otra y que las unimos a través de because. Vamos a ver quién se recuerda. ¿Qué es because en las parts of speech? ¿Qué es because? ¿Is it a verb? ¿Is it an adjective? ¿Is it a noun? ¿Is it a preposition? ¿Is it a conjunction? What is it? It's condition. It's a conjunction. It's a conjunction. Muy bien, muy bien. Es una conjunción, ¿verdad? Así lo explica, en, lo explicaron en el video hace un momento. Es una conjunction. Y las conjunctions son eh, palabras con una conjunción, es la que nos ayuda a unir dos ideas, dos oraciones, dos cláusulas, ¿verdad? Entonces, si yo tengo acá, I make a good journalist. Or I would make a good journalist. Y tengo la oración I love writing. Si ustedes se fijan, las dos oraciones son oraciones independientes. Quiere decir de que ellas pueden estar solitas o las puedo unir a través de because. ¿Verdad? Dígame, Rebeca. Eso sería como unas oraciones compuestas. No. Bueno, no. en español sí. Ajá. Ah, en ah, español okay. sí. Ajá. Okay. En inglés no tenemos ese término. Sin embargo... Rebeca, es parte de lo que una cláusula debe de tener, ¿verdad? Tiene lo, los elementos más importantes que es el, el sujeto y el, y el verbo. Pero sí, cuando ponemos todo junto, es algo parecido a lo que acaba de decir Rebeca, es como una, una oración compuesta. Tenemos más elementos, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando yo uso because, como dentro de las parts of speech, las cuales son ocho, en algunas clasificaciones son nueve, ¿Cuáles son las parts of speech, teacher? Las parts of speech son todas las palabras que se usan en el inglés. Quiere decir que es como parte de la gramática de ellos, ¿verdad? Eh, le voy a pasar parts of speech. Un ejemplo. Las parts of speech hay que identificarlas porque a veces uno tiene dudas, ¿verdad? Y entonces hay que saber con qué palabras se está trabajando. Quiero ver, esta me gusta. Aquí, esta tiene también una definición, ¿verdad? Preintermedio, no es intermedio. Ahí está. Ahí les pasé las parts of speech, ¿ok? Son los nouns, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, preposition, conjunction, que es la, en la que pertenece esta, esta palabra, en esa clasificación, interjections, etc. ¿verdad? Generalmente son ocho clasificaciones de palabras y pues todas esas son las que se usan dentro de las oraciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, esta es una conjunction. Y prácticamente, como les decía, ¿verdad? Une dos ideas, dos oraciones, ¿verdad? Dos cláusulas. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, let's go ahead and take a look at more examples here, okay? Now, it says complete the sentences in column 8 with appropriate information from column B, then compare with the partner. For example, number one, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to be an accountant, but why? Why do you think? I wouldn't like to be an accountant. ¿Por qué sería eso? Because I'm terrible at math. <laughs> Because I'm terrible at math. Ok, muy bien. ¿Verdad? I like 
to be a novelist? E. Because I'm very creative. Okay. I could never be a nurse. A. H me dijeron ahí, or because I don't like hospitals, or because I am very forgetful. You know, because hey. I don't like hospitals. Because I don't like hospitals, okay? Vamos a ver. What about this one, okay? It says, ay, permítame, ¿qué pasó? Ahí está. Eh, I would make a bad waiter. <laughs> Because I'm very forgetful. Because I'm very forgetful, yes. Le pidieron la orden y cinco segundos después, ¿cuál era la orden, verdad? I could be a fly attendant. Because I really like traveling, ¿verdad? Entonces, si ustedes se fijan, son, bien, son cláusulas bien sencillas. Son cláusulas en las que vamos a incluir nada más en la que vamos a unir dos, eh, dos cláusulas, ¿verdad? Son, perdón, son oraciones en las que vamos a unir dos cláusulas. Y, pues, es para expresar una razón. I, I, I could never be a nurse. ¿Por qué? Because I don't like hospitals. So, I, I could never be a nurse because I don't like hospitals, ¿verdad? Entonces, incluimos la conjunction because y a la vez, pues, estamos dando una razón o un motivo, ¿verdad? Por el cual nosotros decimos eso. ¿Hay alguna pregunta, chicos, respecto a esta sección? ¿Questions? No. Vaya. No. Ok, very good. Ahora me voy a pasar a algo también importante. ¿Verdad? Ya luego, pues, aquí si ustedes se fijan, llegamos aquí al knowledge en el... 5.13, estas fueron las cláusulas with because, ¿verdad? Y luego tenemos lo que es el examen, ¿verdad? Lo tenemos acá, ¿verdad? Está cargando, creo. <ríe> Ahí está. Ok, letter A. Choose the words. Choose the words, instructions. Choose the correct word or phrase to complete it, right? And then it says over here, right? If you, ah, permítame, no he, no he duplicado esto. Give me one second. I'm going to put this here. Oh, I see. Bye. Ahí está. So, number one, it says, if you walk to work, you will have to, you won't have to, or you may have to pay for the bus. What do you think? It is the correct response. You have to. You won't. You won't ah. have to. Ah, okay. You won't because if you walk, you won't, right? Have to pay for the bus too. If you take travel or don't go a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. Take. Take. If you take a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. Three, if you get married, you won't be my take or will have less free time. Won't be. You won't be, pero no puedo decir, no vas a ser menos, menos tiempo libre, right? We'll have, of course. Will have, right? Por ahí escuché la respuesta. If you get married, you will have less free time. Si se casa, pues obvio tendrá menos tiempo libre, right? Fiona carefully plans her day so she's never late for appointments. She likes to be creative, punctual, or forgetful. Punctual. Punctual. Okay. Jerry tries to help people and never says no. When someone asks him for a favor, he seems like a really generous, impatient, or disorganized man. Generous. Generous. Six, Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. Everyone thinks they're moody and level-headed, hardworking, or bad-tempered.
Bad tempered. Bad tempered, okay. Let's go ahead and send it. And you see all our responses are correct. Good job, guys. What about this one? In the listening section, it says, listen to the conversation and then check the answers, okay? We're going to listen here to the conversations and we're going to go one by one. So Sylvia, according to Harry, if Marcia stays in her apartment, Jim sat, Mac, okay, let's listen. Units 9 to 10 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. 1. Sylvia, can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you wouldn't want to go back to those days? No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. Two, I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true. But just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling and... <laughs> so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad, I mean... I want a job that involves traveling. Oh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, a flight attendant. Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? I think so. Great. Four. Do you know yet what you're going to do this summer? Well, I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But, Mac, you like hiking and camping, and you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. It's a very long listening, by the way. So, guys, what do you remember about this one? Okay, in number one, Sylvia. One, two, or three. What will be the correct response? Teacher is known as number one. Has some old letter from her grandmother. Um, is that what she said? Number three. Mm, okay. Sil Sylvia is happy with her laptop. Sylvia is happy with her laptop. However, she mentioned, you know, something about her grandmother too. According to Harry, if Marcia stays in her apartment, one, two, or three. Two. Two. She'll have more time to save uh, for a house. Okay. Luego, number three, gym stat, right? One, two, or three? It's two, two. Two. 
Okay, likes the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant. In number four, Mac, one, two, or three? Number three. Wants to get a job at a I national park. Job. Okay, all your sentences are correct, guys. Very good, okay? Then, in letter C, there is a section where you have to complete the conversation, right? So how do we do that? Well, here we have some short responses, right? So complete this, the conversations. One, I'm not very good at typing. So what do you think is the correct response? It's a number one. Oh, I, I am. Yeah. Oh, I am. I'm not very good at typing. Oh, I am. Right. What about number two? I like working with computers. Como digo yo también? So, so do I. So do I. So do I. I. Muy bien, porque no hay verbo to be, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Three, I don't mind driving to work every day. Yo tampoco. Uh, neither do I. Neither do I. Neither okay. do I. Very good. And you see, all of your responses are correct. Questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento, chicos? Questions? No questions. Teacher. No questions? Ay, pues. Then let's move on to the next one. Choose adjectives, right? So these adjectives are, uh, you know, um, part of the topic that we just saw. Right, choose adjectives. It says instructions, choose the correct word. Fiona carefully plans her day so she's never late for appointments. She likes to be? Punctual. Punctual, sí, lo hicimos, ¿se acuerdan? Jerry tries to help people and never says no when someone asks him a, a favor. So he's? Hello. Generous. Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. Everyone thinks they are they're what? But tempered. But tempered? Okay, let's go ahead and see. But tempered. Now let's send our responses. And they are correct. Very good. Excellent, guys. And then the last part is a matching activity, right? So match the sentences with the appropriate information, right? So they say, I like to work as a teacher. What do you think? Ese es el que acabamos de hacer también. What is the second half? Because I am too disorganized and can't send hospitals because I'm very patient and enjoy helping people learn, because they have an excellent memory and like meeting people, or because I don't like to travel or work with people. What do you think? And number two, teacher, because I am very passionate and enjoy helping people learn. Mm -hmm. People learn, okay. I wouldn't want to be a flight attendant, but why? Because I don't like to travel or work with people. Because I don't like to travel and work with people. Okay, very good. Three, I would make a good waiter. Number three, because I have excellent memory and like meeting people. Very good, because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people. And number four, I could never become a doctor. Number one, teacher. Number one, because I am too disorganized and can send hospitals. Yes, they are correct. Very good, guys. Y pues ahí termina. Lo que es el examen o el final exam de esta sección. Okay, now let's go back here to the presentation. Vamos a la presentación, pero pregunto de nuevo. Do you have questions, guys? Preguntas. 
<coughs> yes. Questions? Yes, them. Dígame. No? Vaya, perfect. Now, let's go ahead and continue here, ¿verdad? Para poder ir finalizando ya esta parte del tema. Dice, think about your personal qualities and skills. Then complete these statements. Stay turns discussing with the group, right? I could never be A because I wouldn't mind working as A because I make a good... Because, right? So let's go ahead and create. I'm going to create my examples, okay? And then you have to create yours. Ustedes van a crear los de ustedes, ¿verdad? Let's see. Okay, I'm going to put in here. So the first one, I could never be A, ¿verdad? I could never be a doctor en mi caso, ¿verdad? Because I paint. <laughs> when I see no, mucho, mucho, muy larga va a ser la because I don't like hospitals en realidad no es eso, lo que pasa es que I don't know, I'm not able to see, you know um, blood and things, you know oh, no. I, I, don't, I wouldn't be a good doctor I wouldn't be a doctor I could never be a doctor because of that eh, I wouldn't mind working as a but I wouldn't mind working as a what administrative assistant administrative assistant oops assistant because i like it i was an administrative assistant before before being a teacher i was an uh, an administrative assistant at a bank i make a good I'd make a good what? Um, seamstress. Seamstress. Because I love sewing. Me encanta la costura. I love sewing. Right? So I could be I could never be a doctor because I don't like hospitals. I wouldn't mind working as an, admin, as an administrative assistant because I like it. And I would make a good seamstress because I love sewing. Me encanta la costura. Now it's your turn. Ahora es su turno, chicos. Please tell me your sentences. Dígame sus oraciones. So what do you think about yourself? What would you say in your case? In my case, teacher, I wouldn't mind being a psychologist because I like to understand people and giving advice. Excellent. Very good. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Muy, muy bien formulada. Anyone else? Teacher. Tell me. I could be never be I a could lawyer. never be. I could never I be. I could never be. I could never be lawyer because I don't like the courtroom. You don't like the courtroom. Yes, definitely. So, yeah, and and the uh, environment is very stressful. Who else? Okay, más chicos. We have time. Tenemos tiempo. I would like to listen to your examples. Nobody? Veamos aquí en el chat. It says, 
I could never be a teacher because I feel nervous when I have to explain something, dice Flor de Mami. Oh, okay, it's understandable. Um, yeah, actually to explain something, uh, you need to, 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 to study, right? But I don't think so. I think you are good at explaining things, Flor. Creo que sí. Sí puede hacerlo, Flor. Because you, you, you have, um, you take your time to formulate things. I could never be a nurse because I don't like to see blood, this is just an yes. Neither do I. Neither do I. I just don't like it. It makes me feel more, uh, even more nervous, right? What about the rest? Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. You can give me your examples. I wouldn't mind helping someone. Ahí el A está, no lo ponemos, ¿verdad? I wouldn't mind helping someone because I like to be generous. Muy bien. I wouldn't like to help someone because I like to be generous. Correct. Mm -hmm. What about your examples? Also, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, I could never be a saleswoman because I I like more buying than selling. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Very good, Simara. Actually, yeah, definitely. Uh, we recognize, right? We are honest. We say, no, I'm good at buying rather than selling. Very good. Now, guys, as you can see, it's very easy, right? All what you have to do is to... Um, Follow the pattern. So hay que seguir pues la estructura, ¿verdad? Para que podamos eh, ir como complementando, ¿verdad? Con, con, con la información. Okay. So now, in the last part, there's a reading. Okay. It says, find the job that's right for you. Find the job that's right for you. Okay, see if you want, si no lo ven acá, quizás se lo puedo pasar a través de el chat. Give me one moment. There you go. Ahí está. Okay, so it says, how would you look for a job that's right for you? Actually, uh, uh, to look for a job that's right for you, it's kind of difficult, right? So let me go ahead and read it. And then we're going to take some turns to reread it. Uh, nearly 50% of all workers have jobs they aren't happy with. Don't let this happen to you. If you want to find the right job, don't rush to look through the ads in the newspaper. Instead, sit down and think about yourself. What kind of person are you? What makes you happy? According to psychologist John Holland, there are six types of personality. Nobody's just one type, but most people are mainly one type. For each type, there are certain jobs that might be right and others that are probably wrong. <clears throat> now, the realistic type. The realistic type is practical and likes working with machines and tools, which is a very interesting one. The, investi the inves uh, investigative, I think it's, I know. Um, I'll check that word first. Mejor chequeamos primero. Invest. Investigate. No, es que está diferente. Uh, word reference. Let me see. Veamos. Investigative. Ah, cabal, ya sabía yo, investigative, right? So the investigative type is curious and likes to learn, analyze situation and solve problems, right? The artistic type is imaginative and likes to express himself, herself by creating art, right? The social type is friendly and likes helping or training other people. The enterprising 
So if it's outgoing and like to persuade or lead other people. The conventional type is careful and likes to follow routines and keep track of details, right? Um, if you think about who you are, you can make the right job decision. Liz is a good example. Liz knew she wanted to do something for children. She thought she could help children as a school counselor or a lawyer. She took counseling and law courses and hated them. <laughs> After taking, uh, talking to a career counselor, she realized the problem was that she's an artistic type. So Lisa studied film and she now produces children's TV shows and loves it. Interesting, right? It's interesante. Okay. <laughs> Quiero ver aquí habían todavía oraciones que no leí. Dice María Dolores. Ah, espérense que mandaron más. Espérense del verbo operar. Dice, I like to cook because it relaxes me. I wouldn't mind working as a chef because I like I like cooking. I could never be a counter because I don't like math. An accountant, creo que quisieron decir ahí. I could never eat sushi because I hate fish. Muy bien, ahí están bien las oraciones. Solo hay que corregir algunas cositas, okay? Now here, about, about the... About the uh, about the vocabulary words, guys. Palabra del vocabulario. Vocabulary words. No? Okay, so what do you think about this? Do you know? Do you know about these types? Ya sabían de estos tipos de personalidades, chicos? About enterprising, I don't know what is... Investigative. Uh, Uy, perdón. Ajá. Uh -huh. Enterprising. I don't know what is it. Enterprising. The type, uh, this type of person is outgoing and like to persuade or lead other people. Creo que viene de eso, de enterprise. Enterprise es como, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Entendido. Alguien que se, ajá, no, y también es alguien que, que sí, ajá, in, in a way que emprende, pero, espérame, ¿cómo se lo puedo explicar? Entiendo yo que una empresa es como algo que se inicia. Ajá. Está entrepreneurship, que es el que le acaba de decir su compañero, pero es similar a, a, es similar a enterprising. Mm -hmm. And it's focused uh, on a companies or someone who we say in Spanish emprendedor who start a, a business. It depends, right? So, if you see in the dictionary, sería siempre una persona innovadora, con iniciativa o emprendedor o emprendedora. O sea, mm -hmm. más que todo, enterprising es eso, es mostrar eh, iniciativa. Le voy a pasar aquí el link. Y ahí está. Mire, si usted se fija acá en Word Reference, dice enterprising. enterprising. Okay, it's an adjective and it's showing initiative. Right, emprendedor, emprendedora, con iniciativa o innovador o innovadora. Y aquí están los sinónimos, ¿verdad? Entrepreneurial, o sea, un emprendedor. Uh -huh. Prácticamente es lo que le dijo su compañero. Y pues en este caso hablamos ya de, ya incluso de negocios, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Y esta palabra que la vamos a repetir. Investigative. The investigative type, right? That's in interesting, investigative. Okay, but questions, guys, about the words? So lead, lead other people. Hmm? Lead. Uh, lead is guiar. Guiar otra, a otra gente, ¿verdad? For example, a leader. De ahí viene la palabra leader, ¿verdad? A leader is a person who guides, right? A group of people who is in charge, you know, of a group of people. Mm -hmm. Thank so, you. you're welcome. Guys, try to reread it. Léalo nuevamente, la verdad que es interesante, okay? And, and, and it's a good idea that whenever you don't feel, you know, probably happy or uh, excited about your job, that you read this type of, of you know, articles, right? And, and, and try to realize, hmm, am I the type of person who has to be here, right? 
or am I um, an artistic person, a realistic person, etc. So you need to analyze your personality and based on that to make your decision um, regarding a job, okay? So guys, I'm going to stop here and tomorrow we're going to have a review, right? Uh, about the, the different topics that we studied throughout the, the course, right? Remember that tomorrow we're going to have to, we will have to cover, you know, the class that we missed on Monday or Tuesday, I think. And hopefully we won't have that issue, you know, uh, tomorrow. As you get, guys, I'm going to pass the attendance and then I will let you go. Y nos veríamos mañana. Tengo acá Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Present. Thank you. Eh, Francisco Ernesto Jiménez, Jiménez Rivera. Gabriel José Hernández López. Gabriel José. No vino. Eh, tengo acá el espacio de Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Uh, good evening, teacher. I good I'm evening. going to write you in WhatsApp. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you. No solo necesito que me diga aquí para que le quede grabado en el video. Uh -huh. eh, then Jocelyn Elizabeth González Cartagena. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Bye, chicos. Entonces, I stop. I will stop here. Thank you very much for joining, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. 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 Good night.